One of the things we're interested in is development of children's um, ability to sustain attention uh, for an extended period of time, such that when you're listening to a lesson or trying to do your homework. And it's a well-known finding in this area that distractibility decreases with age. Not that college students are not distractible, we all are, but not quite as much as five, six, and seven-year-olds. And in that sense, there is somewhat of a paradox, a conflict between what we know as developmental psychologists and what the physical environment in the classroom is for the youngest children. If you go to a school, typically the amount of stuff goes down as the grades go up. College students typically face pretty empty classrooms, but classrooms for kindergartners are just filled with stuff. Interesting stuff, educationally relevant stuff, important stuff, but there is a lot of it and they spend the whole day there. They don't change classrooms, so you have your maps and number lines and shapes and everything that they might need during the whole day. Specifically for this study, we were thinking that it's possible that having a lot of educationally relevant but bright uh, objects in the classroom might distract children from the primary lesson. Uh, mm -hmm. And we thought that through being distracted, through being off task, uh, children might learn less from a lesson that was being taught and we also observed that they had smaller learning gains when they were pla placed in this very brightly decorated classroom. If we put children in a classroom environment that has these potential sources of visual distraction, and then if we remove those, are we just going to shift children's pattern of attention allocation, or are we going to reduce the total amount of time that children are spending off task? So it could be that even if you were to take down these visual displays, that children might then just pay more attention to peers, and that the total amount of time that the kids are you know, being distracted remains the same. And so that, that was an important part of the research, too, because a lot of the prior work had only looked at you know, when children are um, on or off task, but not really what they're doing while they're off task. We did find uh, evidence for this trade-off that Carrie just mentioned, that it was a big open question, something we really didn't know what would happen. Um, basically, young kids are distractible, they'll find something to be distracted by. But nonetheless, there was an overall effect of the type of environment, that when you counted all of the time that they spent off task, overall, they spent more time off task when the room was brightly decorated. So we started with children who didn't know anything. And then we measured how much they learned in our classroom. And they had three lessons in each kind of classroom. Three lessons in the decorated classroom, three lessons in the sparse classroom. Uh, and we found that they learned in both types of classrooms, which is good. But they learned more when the classroom was sparse than it was decorated. We don't mean that by any means this is the silver bullet. This is the answer to all of education problems. But they do spend a lot of time there. And if it can... Um, affect at least one facet of the experience, uh, then obviously it will contribute to a solution of an important societal problem. Um, teachers have a really tough job where they have a lot of factors that are going to be influencing children's um, achievement that are outside of their control. Things like um, you know, poverty, how much time the parents read to the kids, things that they have very little influence over, whereas um, their, how they decorate their classroom environment is something that they have control over and can influence. And what we found in our research was that um, our manipulation affected the vast majority of kids. And so this is something where if you're um, you know, designing more streamlined classrooms, that that has the potential to influence learning outcomes for um, the majority of the class.